Okay, so last time I did a plow point, if you remember, I just did a timber hitch around the tree with the top looped through the rope. But this time, I don't want to be as close to the tree. So I'm going to try and just tie an overhand knot to the corner of the top and then do a trucker's hitch around the tree. See if I can't have my top further back away from the tree so it's a bit closer to the fire pit. But we'll see. So obviously I've got my two corners staked out. That sort of gives me my distance that I kind of want to have this edge open. So like I say, all I'm going to do is take this corner, the opposite corner to that one. Tie a simple overhand knot. In fact, I'll do two just for extra security. Boom, goes the dynamite.
Oh. Can you beat Yorkshire tea? Can you beat Yorkshire tea? A bit of warm liquid inside me to, well, warm me up. As you can see, it's coming down pretty good. Sort of started right as I got here, just as I was putting up the tarp, and it's got progressively worse and worse. Which is fine, as long as I stay under the tarp, I'm nice and warm. Somebody has already collected a bunch of firewood here, which will probably be blah, 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 blah. probably be wet by the time I get to it, but that's not an issue. I do have some food to cook, and inside my little bag. Which I can't get open, of course, because I tie it too tight every time. Every time. Even though I know I'm going to have to get into it. And I tie it too tight. Have some stuff to make chili. With venison. My venison. The venison from the deer I got. I was, my original plan was to bring the back strap and I got it out of the freezer because I thought I was going to be able to go earlier than I did and yeah I didn't get, I didn't go so I had it at home and I cooked it. I had one of them anyway, there's a couple more in there. It was so good, it was so good. So. Uh, I was actually home alone when I had it so no one else got to enjoy it with me unfortunately uh, so I figured this time instead of bringing another back strap like two days later I'll bring some of the burger meat that I got out of it and then make chili got bread gonna make a little bread bowl make some chili I've got the frying pan as well so I've got my twig stove and this little gas stove. So maybe, maybe we'll just cook under here. I'm hoping the, the rain sort of calms down. I can get some firewood together, get the fire going, get it ripping, but there's no point in going out there and standing out in the rain with the fire going. So I'll still be stood under the rain, unfortunately. I just wanted to get some miles under my legs this week. I've used the canoe a lot recently. So I decided to just hike some trails and come to this campsite. So the fire pit's got to stay where it is. That's no biggie. Here's what it is. I was hoping I'd be able to get my tarp closer, but hey, it's the way it goes.
still raining. It's still raining a lot. It's been raining all afternoon. So right now I'm going to entertain myself by making a little bit of a spatula. I'm trying to anyway. It'll do. Started out very badly, very badly indeed. As you can probably tell, I haven't carved a spatula before, but I think I got it. Got the trick of it. I'll do for cooking up some chile. Speaking of which, it's getting later, and I'm very hungry. And I don't think this is going to stop anytime soon. Every time I go out there, I just get soaking wet. And for the size of that fire pit and the size of the fire I'd have, it's not worth getting soaking wet and then having to be stood out in the rain with the fire going. So what I'm going to do is cook it up in here. That's more like it. Not a gosh darn hippie can. There we go. I'm having an off day, can you tell? <laughs> Alright. Let's get this cooking.
Bunny apple feet. It's a lot of food. Way too much food, but. I'm pretty hungry right now. It's kind of hard to get the measurements right. I brought half the meat. But it said, because it called for a pound of ground beef. So I brought half a pound of venison. But obviously the beans and the... I got a smaller can of tomatoes than it said. For the beans I could only find one size. But that's alright. There's still a lot left so I'm going to have to... Eat it in the morning or eat it later on. I'm filming on my new camera, which thank you to anyone who bought a hat, anyone else who wants one, they're on sale now, go to the website in the description, but yeah, um, this is a new camera, so new in fact, you can't even get batteries for it yet, I had to pre-order the camera and then the camera came and now I've had to pre-order spare batteries um, it's a full frame my old camera was a micro four thirds if anyone's interested it's a Panasonic S5 that I just got because it's supposed to be better in low light conditions it's gonna it's supposed to be less noise problem is my old camera had quite a good lens and this one's got the kit lens so this one only goes down to, I don't know, uh, f4 I think, or f3, and the other one went down to 2.8, so. I guess there's a trade-off there, because it's not that dark, but in the camera it looks super dark. So I'm going to have to figure it out, play with the settings a little bit. It's the same, 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 but different. I went from a GH5, Panasonic GH5, which everyone asked me about, to the S5. So we'll see. I haven't got rid of my old camera just yet, in case I don't like it. But I also can't get a mount to go from my old camera to this camera to put the lens on this camera. Got itchy nose. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'm gonna sit and enjoy this and clean up after myself. And I don't know if it stops raining enough. I'll go out and light the fire and get that going, get that ripping. But if not, then I don't plan on getting any wetter than I already am. I've got my winter sleeping bag. It's in the 30s tonight, and obviously that thing's zero degree sleeping bag, so it's plenty warm enough for me. And I've got spare thermal underwear to change into, so I should be fine. But we'll see. We'll see how she goes. Before I forget. Woodford Reserve. Woodford Reserve. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Twist. 45.2% alcohol volume. 90 proof. Selected by Master Distiller Chris Morris. Cheers guys. Nice, I like it. A little smoky, a little spicy. Can't remember whoever recommended it to me in the comments, I apologise. But it's good. I did bring some stuff to make hot toddies. I got some honey, a couple of lemons. So I might do that in a little bit once I've eaten my food. All depends 
on the light situation because I can't really see much right now in the camera so anyway we'll see Well, I don't know what you can really see, to be honest, but I'm sure you can probably hear that it never stopped raining. It's just rained and rained and rained. So I never got out to light the fire, but one thing I did do is... One thing I did do is I closed in the tarp. Obviously, all I did was bring that end down over there, peg it in then this bit just has a stick on it and obviously I've got my stick in the top so I ended up making myself a nice little cocoon of warmth just because the uh, everything obviously when it rains it gets it feels a lot colder than it is, let's put it that way everything's just damp and wet so this way keep a bit more of the heat in but yeah I'm gonna go to sleep I think because there's now tells to do still raining it's just rained all night all night and about I don't know maybe 1 2 a.m. we added a wind in there so this has been flapping like crazy slapping me on my head on my noodle although I could move my sleeping pad down that way more that would help um, excuse me yeah it's raining, and raining, and raining, so I'm glad I dropped the corner and closed it. Otherwise, once that wind kicked off, it would have been, it would have been getting a lot colder, a lot wetter. Luckily, I managed to keep most of the heat trapped in here, but it's just raining, raining. I have to pee so bad. It's not the most exciting prospect getting out of this mm, ultra warm sleeping bag and getting wet. Excuse me. Everyone yells at me when I yawn in the camera. Yeah, I'm getting wet and cold. So we're going to open her up and take a look. Take a look. Wet, wet, wet. Everything is wet, wet, wet. I'm wet. Camera's wet. When I got out then to go take a pee, because the ground's so wet now, around the pegs is saturated, so when the wind's picking up, the pegs are popping out, which now means my sleeping bag's wet and stuff under here is wet. Say so yeah, I'm soaking wet through. And don't blow out and 
my uh, camera soaking wet. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I love you, Mother Nature, but you can be a real bit. <laughs> Every time I re-peg my tarp so I can pack my stuff underneath it and it's like every time the wind picks up it's like that scene from Braveheart and I'm just like HOLD THE LIFE! HOLD THE LIFE! Oh, you can see my little pegs are like oh, We can't hold it! We can't hold it anymore! But, uh, <laughs> yeah I'm just packing up like I say camera's gonna die the weather's miserable and yeah today is last day has just been an off day it started off good when I got here and then it just went downhill not just the weather but myself like I say I've, I've just had an off day so anyway it's part and parcel of it right but if you like this one give it a like subscribe if you haven't already if you want to go check out the hats go check them out and yeah I'll see you on the next one where everything's gonna go according to plan not. <laughs> Alright, take it easy.